Malika James, who does Gabrielle Union's makeup, uh-huh. she told me that the dark eyes comes from eating chicken and the puffy eyes comes from gluten. So just test that out. Just just test it out. I am black. <laughs> You don't want me to eat no chicken? Hey y'all, it's Angela Rye. You may have seen me on CNN or maybe The Breakfast Club or maybe on my Instagram. Although I'm always on the road working, there's always been some things I want to try. Some things come really natural to me. The others, well, let's just say they need a little bit of work. Welcome to my On One Masterclass. I hope you find something you love. With each breath in as you're breathing in deeply. I hope you'll laugh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Joke. Come on. What did you just call that ball? This is my Wakanda ball. And have a good time with all of us. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You do not want to miss this. Hello, everyone. Welcome to a very special edition of On One with Angela Rye. I um, am doing a On One Masterclass series, and it is my great privilege and honor to welcome to all of us. Um, the queen bee herself of the makeup industry, our modern day Madam C.G. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa <laughs> Butler, who is um, from Detroit and has graciously agreed to um, tutor me in applying makeup. Um, many of you will, will recognize her um, from the new Netflix series. She did that. And also, um, is, is it a documentary or documentary? I think it's, it's a documentary. Documentary. It's a documentary. My, my bad. And then also, um, as an honorary Rattler myself, which is honorary, she is a Rattler from Florida <laughs> A&M University. So, Melissa, thank you so much for doing this today. I am so excited to be with you and to learn how to do my makeup because I'm terrible. Oh, no, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Um, all of the admiration I'm sending right back at you. Thank you for everything that you do. So it is it is my honor to, to be able to show you how to, you know, get out the house quickly so you can keep fighting for us. Thank you. Well, you know what? I'm going to stay in the house, but I'm going to keep practicing my makeup right. for right now. <laughs> <laughs> but but at least I don't have to look raggedy on the Skype cam or the Zoom cams or wherever we're going to be doing these interviews for a little while. So right. I'm just grateful. Um, as you sit here in your marvelous glow with no makeup on, y'all, um, she's going to show me and walk me through her latest products. And Melissa, I want you to talk a little bit about these products um, while we're applying. So if I want to talk about how you got your start. I know you probably get so many young folks were like, how did you do that? That's what I want to do. And yeah. so for all of those um, folks who are interested in there, especially to someone who got told no on the grand stage of Shark Tank, right? right. We want to make sure people know to keep up the fight because their no did not mean a denial for you and your purpose. That's the thing. And I think at the end of the day, as an entrepreneur, you have to just be so ready and willing to fight for what you believe yes. in. So you gotta get you gotta get really used to those nose and those those moments of failure because you really just get to learn and grow and pivot. Cause sometimes people are giving you that feedback because, you know, they don't get it. Yeah. But sometimes it's something that you don't get, but then you get to optimize and, and speak a little bit so that you can get better for that next pitch. Yeah. So again, thank you. Oh, I'm so glad about this. I'm so glad about this. So tell the truth, have you been applying any makeup while you've been at home? No, yeah. You yeah. have? What you been doing? You been on Zoom calls. I, I get on these Zoom calls. I have IG lives all day. Yeah. And like there's pressure with being a beauty founder. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, you know, you're you're the owner of the lip bar, so I expect you to like be beautiful essentially. Mm-hmm. And a part of me is just like, first of all, like I'm beautiful with or without makeup and everyone should believe that about mm-hmm. themselves. And like that's our whole goal of lip bar to just remind people that that they are enough mm-hmm. and that makeup should just be a slight enhancement to, to your personality, to, to give you that confidence to take on the day sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But, you know, people, you, people are real close. They all up in your grill. You know? Girl, well, let me show you what will happen if you get in my grill. Let me show you about these eyebrows right now. You see all that is a whole nother one growing in right here. And it's yes. so funny because, like, now when I'm – um. I get glam for like carpets or if I have an appearance and have to moderate a panel or whatever, I get glam. And mm-hmm. one of um, my makeup folks, I think it was Eugene, um, Eugene Williams in New York, Eugene said, well, you know, we can cover up 
you know, the eyebrow underneath here with makeup. So I was like, oh, child, I ain't have my eyebrows done. See, the AG was like, I didn't mean for you to grow a whole other eyebrow. <laughs> Yeah, but similarly, so I do a ton of like panels and mm-hmm. just like appearances, and people are really enamored by the spray. So I got used to hiring makeup artists and all these different cities that I go in to like feel like I was presentable enough mm-hmm. to go on that stage or to have these picture pictures taken. And I, I was so frustrated by that experience because. If you're using different people, you look different every time. Yeah. And you're having to tell them like, hey, I don't want the big ass eyebrows or Mm -hmm. hey, don't contour me a lot. Like, I just want to look like myself. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is stupid, Melissa. You need to learn how to do your own makeup. Mm -hmm. Number one, it's going to save you money. And then number two, you don't have to keep being surprised every time like you go into a city and maybe the person you work for is booked. Yeah. you You got to start over. Girl, that's a real thing. I've had like eyebrows where I'm like, whoop. Whose eyebrows are like? It looks like it's an airbrush situation on my face, and then I mean, and then for me, it's like, um, and so many of my folks they got Myla and Eugene are my, like my normal go tos in Evelyn. Um, and the thing that's crazy is, and cash, the cash, the cash bar. Um, <laughs> it's so funny because I'll be like, okay, just tell me the basics. Because, you know, I'm not getting makeup done every, like, if I have date night, right? Like, I just need right. the basics. And so they'll tell me, and I just can't do it. So I'm excited today to talk about the story, how you started the lip bar, what, you know, what may have been your lowest moment. Even, like, one thing I'm dying to know, um, my my feature that I, um, I don't I don't want to say that I'm ashamed of, but I'll say it frustrates me the most. I have two, I'll say two. So I have mm-hmm. these super dark. I was born like with dark circles. And then as I've mm-hmm. gotten older, I feel like it's like puffy too. And then mm-hmm. here's the other thing. I was, there's like a newborn picture. Let me see if I can get it for them when they um, actually like upload the podcast. But this strawberry mark runs mm-hmm. all the way up here, right? It's funny because if I'm really cold, if I'm really pissed, if I'm cracking up, not only does the forehead <laughs> vein pop up, but this strawberry mark is on. You know, so like normally I'll tell people, they'll be like, oh, how about a red lip? And I'm like, mm, if you didn't consider my strawberry mark well enough, it's going to look like I did this, <laughs> you know, with the red That's lip. Hilarious. It's so it's really crazy. So everybody has that feature. People are like, what are you talking about? I'm like, are you all awesome? <laughs> Yeah, everybody has that thing. What's your but thing? It, it comes from like conditioning, yeah. like, like this idea of us chasing perfection. Girl, I mean, I've battled with so many things from, from my legs. Like I have... Like, my upper body and my lower half of my body just don't match. It's See, like I don't have people. no ankles. I don't have no <laughs> ankles. Like, there's no pinch back here. I don't have no ankles. <laughs> so, like, I, my thighs are humongous. Mm-hmm. And, like, some people are like, oh, like, you know, big legs are amazing. And I'm like, for you. But for me, like. <laughs> you ain't got to get any jeans. Right. I'm all set. I could, I could stand to lose a few inches. Um, and then, like, I even have a crooked smile. Like, I remember when J. Cole created that song, and I was like, I feel so seen. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, That's so it's, it's a lot of little things. And I think with me having to, like, get pictures taken all the time or interviews, it forced me to look at myself and then just, like, create this process or go on this journey of discovery and acceptance. Mm-hmm. So wow. that's 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 everything I'm about now. So now I'm just like, look, if if my hair looks crazy, if my grays are growing Girl, out, like, hold on, let look. me show you my you. We can feel so <laughs> good. I have a bunch. I don't know why. Maybe because I just washed my hair. I ain't washed it in five. Oh, here, like, here's a good patch for you. See, <laughs> a good patch. This is a good patch. Like, <laughs> and they're because they grow in like patches on me. So that's like, yeah, it's a whole. It's probably some more than that. But, I have but yeah, I, I think I've just gotten to the point where I'm like, it's okay. Mm-hmm. Like, it's fine. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, because yeah, nobody's judging as hard as you're judging. At all. That's, we are the, our own tough, toughest critic. It's so true. So true. Yeah. Okay, well, let's so, start and then we can talk about the lip bar story as we go. Yes. Um. All right. So we actually created this system because of my frustration with makeup and not knowing how to do my own makeup. Mm-hmm. So this is our fast face system. It's six products and it's designed to give you your makeup look in just 50 minutes. So our customer is not a makeup artist. She is like an everyday woman who values her time, she values her money, and she has shit to do. 
Mm-hmm. So she's like, I want to just look good and I want to be able to do that without a ton of effort. Hey, so, it's like my kind of life. Right. <laughs> so the first step is the foundation. Okay. And everything within the system is like multitasking, multi-use. So it has hyaluronic acid in it mm-hmm. and it comes with built-in brush. What is hyaluronic acid? So it's really good for helping to minimize um, fine lines, wrinkles, and it's super hydrating. Got it. Okay, cool. I have some that I have like a lighter one that I tried to use for my eye under my eyes. Is your recommendation today that I just do one to do fast facing? It's really up to you. Whatever's gonna make you the most comfortable. So like I'm when I apply mine, I don't put it in my forehead because I don't I don't have I don't have the capacity to blend two colors. I just don't. But <laughs> so I literally don't put foundation on my forehead because it's a lot darker than the rest of my face. What a, I wonder what mine is. I look at it in this mirror over here. I think it is kind of darker. It's like red in here, red right here, dark right here. I got a lot of colors on my face. Your healer, and light. Go ahead and put the lighter under your eyes because okay. that'll be like your form of concealer. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Which, by the way, um, Malika James who does Gabrielle Union's makeup. Uh-huh. She told me that the dark eyes comes from eating chicken and the puffy eyes come from gluten. So just test that out. Just just test it out. I am black. <laughs> you don't want me to eat no chicken? You might want to pause it. Just yeah. just do a little quick two week test. What? Okay. All right. All right. So do I do I put this right on my face or in my hand? So you put it right on your face. So it pumps right out. Got there. I mean, spit it out, and one pump will be enough for your whole face. Oh shoot! So this is this okay, is my. Just doing this two colors, maybe put it on your hand. Okay. Yeah. This is the light one first. Should I do the light one first or the dark one first? You should do the dark one first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This, this one I didn't pump out that much, so I could probably put this in my face. Okay, let me listen. Yeah, that's perfect. So you're gonna just want to start. Um, close to your ear, like around your chin, okay. and start just moving it around so that you can get a good blend. And then as you disperse it, you just want to go outward. Am I going outward? Yeah, I think you're doing great. Okay. I think I ran out. My pump wasn't big. Okay, there we go. So you just want to blend it out. And so I wanted you to apply it in that motion where you're kind of like dabbing it around first, just so that you won't, so that it'll be it more evenly. Okay. So we decided to do this built-in brush because a lot of people are just like doing their makeup in the car, like yeah, just keeping yeah. on the go. To the point that the state of Florida actually banned makeup and driving, like no, yeah, because they're like it's causing too many accidents. And like I was saying, I don't really put it on my forehead. Oh, I'm just sorry. Because. I forgot about that. Okay. But you, you talk to the camp. I'm just like, <laughs> this, I'm this is made up for lazy people. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you a professional. I did that big action. Uh, I watched him do it enough, but I was trying to blend that because I was like, ooh, I, now I look like I got a 10. <laughs> That's hilarious. I did. I got a 10. Okay, so now, since you're going to use that lighter color, make sure it's not a lot okay. on the brush because okay. you don't need a lot now. Okay. I you guess. have to go under your eyes. How come when people put makeup on, I go like that with their face? Have you ever noticed that? It, it's just habit. We just like to look foolish. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put this here, too. Oh, shoot. I got it in the... It's yeah, fine. Guess what? You can you can always use the brush that comes in the kit mm-hmm. to help blend it out. Oh, okay. So it has this two sided brush, and yes. I would recommend because we're not gonna come, we're gonna use we're gonna do real makeup every day one. Okay. So use the side that's slanted, uh-huh. and you can get under your eye really really closely. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is good. This brush feels good. Okay, lip bar fast face. <laughs> okay, so tell me how you started lip bar. So I started the lip bar in 2012, mm-hmm. making lipstick in my kitchen. 
Um, I was working on Wall Street and I was frustrated with the beauty industry, its lack of diversity, its excessive amounts of chemicals, and just this idea that women needed to fit into this box Uh in order to be considered beautiful. Yeah. And I was like, that's stupid. So I'm the type of person that's like, all right, instead of complaining about it, I'm going to create the solution. And I decided that the lip bar would be my solution. Now, again, I didn't know anything about makeup. I didn't know how to do makeup. I didn't. I wasn't a makeup artist. So I just started making lips in my kitchen. I, I essentially taught myself how to do it by reading ingredients on the back of the product that I was doing. Okay. And I was just like, all right, this, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to use really diverse models and, and debunk some of these beauty myths. Wow. And then what, what do you think was like the harshest thing from like, a family member that you heard was there somebody that was like, What are you doing? Stay on Wall Street, get your money. I mean, everybody, even my mom. I remember telling my mom, like, when I was going to quit my job, like, Mom, I'm quitting to just focus on my business. And she was like, I'm not paying the bills. What did you say back? Yeah, girl, I know what you pay my bill. I was like, I don't need you to pay my bills. Like, it'll be fine. Uh-huh. Um, like, I, I saved. So, when I quit my job, I thought that I saved a year's worth of expenses, but it was actually only like six or seven months. Wow. But like, I thought that I quit with this master plan. I didn't know a thing. No. I literally didn't know a thing about business. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anything about like properly um, creating my expenses or like managing my expenses in a way that would actually allow me to sustain. Mm-hmm. But I also knew that the risk was worth it for me and the regret would be stronger. Wow. So I was like, let's just, let's just go for it. Let's I stand up step. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to set that foundation. Okay. So it comes with a palette that is specific to your complexion. You got two. So since you use the two o'clock, it's really up to you because you're very close to both. You're kind of in between the complexion families. I love that these are like cash and checks. The blush is grinding. The contour is making bets. The highlight is now hiring. This is like born ready. I'm going to put on born ready. Can I do that? Yeah. So born what's going to be important is that you use the face powder that's closest to your complexion. So that one in the corner has to be close to your complexion. Yeah, that one. That one's born ready. Isn't that close to me? Ooh. Yeah, looks good to me. Okay. All right, so using that same brush, the ankle awesome brush. brush. Yep, but on the um, round side. Okay. Yep. So you're going to use one side and tap in into that face powder. So this is curated by complexion. So this is your face powder, your blush, your highlighter, and your contour. So you don't have to think about what works for you. Nice. I love this. Okay. All right. So what I typically do is like tap in the powder. To sit. I do these like quick small pats all across my face to set the foundation in. I just want to be clear that you don't even need a master class. You know exactly what you're doing. No, I do not. You got, I'm going to show you a before and after. Well, now I can't because I didn't learn the system. But I got to, I need to show you stuff from when I did my own makeup and how tragically wrong that was. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. Like, you'd be like, what are you doing? And we haven't gotten to eyeshadow yet, but you guys, you guys have a little system to make that easier, too, because that is where it really goes wrong. This stuff I yeah, get, I feel like, hard. generally, too, though. It, uh, is, it is tough. It is. It's like, a, it's like someone who's creating art on a palette, and I can't create art. Yeah. I can create a lot of things that ain't art. All right, so once you feel like you've patted it into your face, mm-hmm. go back in and make sure you wipe the excess off the brush by just, like, tapping it. Oh. And then I want you to just do, like, a sweeping motion just to make sure you get into the crevices. Do you have dry or oily skin? It's so dry. Okay, me too. Cool. So if you have oily skin, um... You would have wanted to use a primer, so I should have asked you that earlier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, in fact, I had I got out of the shower and like put on my little um, face oil that I love, 
mm-hmm. and let that thing just disappear. Mm-hmm. It's so funny because I have friends who are like, I'm oily, I need to pat. And I'm like, let that oil stay on there because it could be <laughs> Right. Mm-hmm. All right. The next step is using the blush okay. in that kit. And so you're going to use the other side. So it's the one at the top. Yep. Yep. So you can use either side of this brush. Mm -hmm. Um, I typically use the rounded side again, just going in on the side that I didn't take a lot of powder in. Okay. So the key with blush is that you have to tap off the excess. Like, tap off a lot. You ever see people who just, like, look like clowns? Yes. Girl, that's not that's not how you do blush. I don't ever tap off. That's that's probably why I do it for Oh, yeah, you, you got to tap off. It's going to be too much color, especially okay. if it's super pigmented. Okay. All right. So you want to smile a little bit and then find the apples of your cheeks. So what I typically do just to make sure that the color is even on both sides, I do, like, a one swipe and one swipe. Oh, that's smart. And then I blend on both sides. Because if not, you'll have to go back and get more color for the other side, and it'll just be too much color. Mm-hmm. Yep, and you just want to blend up. You're doing so great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. So, um, in addition to the most challenging thing you heard when you were starting Lip Bar, what's one of the most encouraging things you heard? Oh, that's a good one. Um, I don't know if I, I can point to anything I've heard, but the, the logic that I live by is just that time changes all things. Mm-hmm. And, and that allows me to stay in this, like, constant paranoia which is somewhat yeah. unhealthy but also like I'm not I'm a person who doesn't really get caught up on the wins mm-hmm. or the losses mm-hmm. like I'm pretty even and like That's my good. goal is just to get better every day yeah so like, how do I constantly learn how do I constantly optimize because like when things are really down I tap into that mm-hmm. that mindset and then I'm like it won't be like this forever yeah it's fine. yeah so, yes, it's tough right now, but but there's a lesson for me to learn from here. Mm, I love or, it. Or maybe I'm riding high right now mm-hmm. and to make sure that I'm taking these wins and placing them and using them to plant seeds for, ne- for the next harvest mm-hmm. so that I'm not only relying on the seed. Yeah, that makes sense. But are you using some of that same mentality to get through the uncertainty right now? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's what's weird is like even though the world is crazy right now crazy. I feel like a weird level of peace in mm-hmm. my life mm-hmm. I'm just like it's fine I'm doing all the things that I can to be doing mm-hmm. and I'm just focusing on what I can control yep which isn't much oh my god if this isn't a lesson of like we don't control right. anything except anything. for our actions sometimes like that's ooh, it's it's deep so, yeah. And if you spend your time focusing or worrying about things that you can't control, it's just like you're not making the best use of your time, your energy. Because it's like, what are you really doing? Mm-hmm. Here? Mm-hmm. Yes. So I feel good. I travel a ton and I've been in my house for two weeks and this yeah. is rare. That's, you know what, Melissa? I have suitcases. This is actually a, a shameful confession. But I have suitcases <laughs> like all throughout my house. Like, the hallway between the kitchen and the dining room, my bedroom that have been like either zipped up packed or like laid out on my floor pack. Clean the lady ain't with them. She just like leaving them there open. Like maybe it's the point you're going to realize I left these things open so you can unpack them. And just at the beginning of this week, I unpacked them. Yeah. You know, and the other thing that's been crazy to me is like, um, in addition to my nails, not being done, you see those? Two? No, no, no. They gone. You see that? They gone. <laughs> I'm going to take them off today. I need a tutorial on dipping these suckers in acetone by myself. Okay. All right. So the next step is the highlighter. Okay. This you're going to use the slanted end of the brush. My so, highlighter. I just want everybody to know that my highlighter is called Ben Ready. <laughs> my highlighter said I've been ready. Mine's called um, So Icy. Okay, Icy. Come on, Icy. <laughs> Okay, so, I'm so doing do me a favor and wipe off that the excess since you use it to help um, your concealer. Just okay. wipe off any color there. Okay. 
Because your brush is still, still pretty dry, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. So tap into your highlighter. Straight like literally down. just press in. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. it's super pigmented. And you don't want to look like a glitter ball. Again, that this is... happen. When I tried to do it... Okay, so that... Yep. So yeah. tap it off. Tap off the excess. And then same trick with the blush, except this is why you're going to use the angled side. Because mm-hmm. you're just going to go right above the apple. Okay. Press it on the side. Press it on the other side. And then I don't feel like I had enough. Can you see my... I can't see it. But also, I need some light. Let me see. Can I get one of these little glow lights over here? I got the That's what that light's for. See, now I'm like a YouTube sensation. I got a light. Look. Look at my, look at my ring light. Hold on. I'm just trying not to knock that down. Look. See? I'm a YouTube sensation now. Hold on. Let me put that up. I'm going to tear up my whole desk. Oh, so that's what I was telling you. So I've learned how to use all this equipment. I bought all this stuff and don't know how to use it. Mm-hmm. I've been like learning how to. Um, so I'm supposed to do that, huh? Is that right? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay. And then, um, but they like Lisa, who works on my team, came over to show me how to do like straight to cam, and then they showed me all this ecam Skype stuff, and it's been like deep. I was like, I have all this stuff in my house that I don't use. You know, and it's like, all right, we're going to put all this stuff to use. It's been fun, but it's been crazy. For I got me, I have set up. my house that I don't need. Oh, my God. And I'm like, okay, I just, it's time to purge, girl. Get yeah. Get rid of it. Let it go. Exactly. Exactly. That is the All right, thing. so your highlighter is on, and it looks good. My favorite thing to do with highlighter is to take a little bit more mm-hmm. and put it on the nose. Okay, highlight nose. The same angle first, right? Yep. Okay. Always tap off the excess. Okay, all right. He's like, I'm not playing with you on this excess tap. Okay. And then we're uh, right here. Yep. Yep. And then you want to take it up a little bit. Yep. Look and at it. Easy, the, that little the anointed glow on the tip of the nose. Mm-hmm. There we go. I got my ring light now. Shoot. Hey. <laughs> All right, so next step is the brow. Oh, hell. Okay. Okay. Easy. We, we made it easy. All right, so what brow colors do you have? Okay, I have arch nemesis and highbrow. Okay, so highbrow is going to be um, the darker brow. So okay. do you have any really dark brows? Well, what do you think? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so use that one. Okay. So we made it super thick so that you don't have to like do too Ooh, much work. That's nice. Peeps. That's nice. So the first thing is you just want to take your fingers and go over your eyebrows. Which, bra- which eyebrow? You know I got two on each side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Now you're just going to like fill it in softly. Like follow the natural... I noticed you didn't start right here. Is that on purpose? Yep. So okay. I never start here because it becomes heavy. So I start a little bit after. Okay. Like right here. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That'll give you that natural look. Okay. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to look at my mirror. Y'all know I'm old. So I'm trying to I gotta do my... How far down do you go? That's your preference. Like if you... Have like, you noticed when the people try to drag your eyebrows down me? Girl. I'd be like, my eyebrow didn't go that far. I can't, you can't do that to me today. <laughs> so for those of you hating, I'm not going to fill in this underbrow, okay? Don't be surprised. Don't say that to me. So funny. Listen, I got to tell the truth. And then in terms of Ooh. the front, you're going to just like slightly. I ain't like, do some right. Look at that. The thing look a little choppy. Yep. So you need to draw a little bit above. Okay. Yeah, so allow it to be. So, like, when you don't have your, your brows done, you need to just follow those natural hairs, how they go. Oh, so I'm actually coloring right now. That's how... Let me watch you first. Let me see. <laughs> yes, but you did a good job. Like, I did? The difference between your brows. That was clearly more defined. Yeah, yeah it is. Great. Okay, okay, all right. 
You, you might not be able to. Let me show you up close if you really did this. <laughs> you see this? Like, what the hell was I doing right here? <laughs> <laughs> we can clean it up with the other side. Though. Okay, okay, okay. So the other side, you want to also just start maybe like a quarter way into it. Okay. To make sure that you still have that natural look. Okay. And then my eyebrows, I have the, the top hairs grow down and then the other ones grow sideways. So maybe I need to follow that. I'm trying to follow your brows. Your hair is different than mine. Yeah. Okay. I'm doing that now. Oh, that one looks better too. Damn, I should have did that on the first side. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. Oh, no. You can clean it up with the brow gel that's on the other side. Oh, come on, brow gel. All right. Okay, look. This time I think I started in too far. Look at the difference. Between but you can just you can wipe that off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god. I think a brow, like literally, if you were just to leave the house and didn't want to do anything but wanted to look you like your best self. Mm -hmm. Do your brow and put on a lip and you're done. Okay. So here's the other question I have. I asked you what was your the attribute that you're like, oh. but what about your favorite attribute on your face? My cheekbones. Oh, so I have really high cheekbones, mm -hmm. which um, causes everyone who is Ethiopian, Eritrean, or Kenyan to ask me where I'm from. Yeah. Um, That's dope. Back is from Detroit, but they're they're my favorite. Girl, you gotta do a DNA me. test. Right have you might have some in there. Do your DNA test and see. So you know, I did I did one just because it was a gift. Uh huh. But I regret doing it. Why? Because I don't want them using my DNA. Girl, you know they don't use it. They're not. Well, I can't. You know, we're black, so conspiracy theories are well founded in our community. But yeah. it's still good to know where, especially when your your people are taken from a place and you don't have any connection to the place. Like I think us, yeah. if anybody needs it, we need it. But there's definitely a story about Henrietta Lacks to go that I asked there. So. Um, yeah, absolutely. So it bothers me. I mean, but I did it. But also, I did 23 and Me, and it just wasn't that good. Oh, it, 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 do African ancestry. There's that. Have you heard of African ancestry? I have. I'm gonna do that. One. Do that one. Yeah. I hear that it tells you your tribe. It tells you your tribe. What's so funny what is my you? dad. My dad is like the blackest person you ever meet, and I'm not talking about skin color. I'm talking about how he sees himself, right? And mm -hmm. super for the cause, super for the culture. And I don't know what happened on his. We got his results back, and it was like you're from Portugal. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was like, "What?" He was like, "Even um, uh, twenty three and me has like my African, you know, my African piece. What happened here?" I was like, "I don't know. Maybe somebody traded DNA with yours. I don't know what happened." That is but so we died. I mean, when I tell you that fella was hot, he was hot. That so. is so funny. I was disappointed by mine because, like, obviously, if you're a Black American, we're all mixed up. Yeah. But I didn't realize like how I think my results came in as like 26% European mm -hmm. and I was shocked. Yeah. Like, I didn't realize it was going to be Mine was higher than that. Mine was higher than that. I was like, I, wait, it's what? like 50%. And I was like, okay, and for all the Twitter trolls I'm yelling at talking about I ain't biracial, like I'm technically half, you know. <laughs> and then I was like, some of this stuff's not right because it doesn't have any of the Native American stuff. And I have mm -hmm. two great grandmothers for sure. Right, like mm -hmm. my grandfather even has a story about how he had to go stay on a reservation when um, white folks, there's a white woman who accused him of um, touching her when he was mm -hmm. a young person, and um, they were scared that the, the like the white folks in the Louisiana were going to kill him, so he had to end up going to stay with his aunt. Um, wow, her, they called her Indian Rose, and she lived on a reservation. So they don't even have documentation for that part of my gene pool, not even for my brothers either, because, you know, our DNA sequences can be different and they can pull up different things. None of that is on 23andMe. And part of that is because um, there's not enough data on Native American people or that DNA or those DNA sequences. So, like that will be missing. So some of the stuff that's documented in our bloodline being um, European is probably not. Right, or the right. Asian and comes to up as Asian. They're like, I don't want to take your DNA test. You see what you've already taken, girl. From you know, so yeah. I can't blame them. So Get it's probably never going to show up for real. Yeah.
that's possible, but highly possible. So, okay. Highlighted is my face. My face is highlighted. And my eyebrows are done. So if you want it to clean up. Oh, yes. And sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Uh-huh. There's a brow gel that comes on the other side. Okay, I need that. because just I twist it out. Hair. Oh, twist. I tried yeah. to break your stuff, girl. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so it's tinted, so you can use it to fill in. Okay. And it'll give you that more natural. So oh, that looks look good. Out. Oh, yes. Could you just use this brow gel without... Look what I just did. Look what I just did. No, look at that. I just decided I was going to add some. Lord. I yes, you, the, the tragedy is happening in my makeup. Gel. Girl. Uh-uh. But can you use this and not use the pencil? Yes. Our creative director never uses the pencil. My thing is my eyebrows are so, like, straight. Like, mm-hmm. this feels like I have more control. I think the thing that most surprised me about being uh, a CEO and a founder is that, like, none of that matters. What matters most is being a leader. Mm. Mm-hmm. But also, that's the most difficult thing. That's the most difficult part of the equation. Like, everybody wants to be a boss, but, hmm. like, you don't, you don't just wake up a leader. Yeah. Like, that takes a lot of self-development. It takes a lot of discipline. You have to literally practice what you preach because everyone is looking to you for inspiration, for guidance. Yeah. So, like, even when I go into the office, the bulk of my day is just, like, giving feedback or just having conversations with my team or having meetings. So, my days are exponentially longer than when I ever worked on Wall Street because during the day... I'm just like course correcting. Mm-hmm. And at night, that's when I'm actually doing my work. Wow. So that, I think that was the part that I was most shocked about, like how much work it is to mm-hmm. be a leader and like how unprepared like most people are when they start businesses because no one is thinking of that part of it. Wow. That is incredible. And yeah, that's so accurate. Like so much of your day, if you have a team is spent kind of mentoring or guiding or get mm-hmm. the advice and talking through strategy or repeating yourself. Girl. Um, <laughs> so, like, yeah, I, I definitely understand that. Who are your mentors? Are there mentors you have acquired in the beauty industry? Yeah, um, Richie Eugenis, the founder oh, of Rich. Moisture. Absolutely. Yeah. Rich is my mentor. He's my investor. What's funny is, like, um, I never even pitched Rich. When he, like, invested in the lip bar, it wasn't because I went to him yeah. with this, this pitch and this PowerPoint presentation. We had just cultivated a relationship over the years I so that, that to the point when he was working on the new voices thing, which I didn't even know about, he literally was like, you need money, don't you? I'm like, actually, yeah, I do. Because like, now that you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... I think mentorship is one of the things that's like the most important, Isn't but it? also it's one of those things that like, it's easy to say like, Oh, I want a superstar mentor, like, like rich, mm-hmm. but that relationship didn't start because I wanted him to be my mentor. Mm-hmm. It just started out of admiration and me letting him know what I was doing yeah. and asking him how I could help him. So it's like that two-sided relationship that you have to look at it from. Whereas so most mentor mentees, people are like, you know, how can I benefit? That or like the question I think, Melissa, and I know you can relate to this. The question I hear the most is like, can you mentor me? And I'm like, it doesn't happen like that. Every no. mentor that I ever had, I didn't come to them and say, Will you mentor me? No. We like you said, we cultivated a relationship and it becomes that way. And I can't think of um any relationship that I have where it's just one sided. Because if it is like that person will disappear out of my life because over yeah. time they feel like they dried up, they had nothing left to give. And I certainly right. when I see, you know, some people's names who always need something in my text message, I'm like, Oh God, you know? Yeah. I definitely hear you. That is so on point. That's so on point. Because it's a, it's a real thing that you can't pour from an empty cup. You can't. And it's like, look, I can't. I can't always be the person giving. I just mm-hmm. can't. Mm-hmm. Woo. So yeah. It's all right. All right, the last the last step here is the look. We done. The lip is really, what completes the look? Every everything that we do is like built out of convenience. So it's like so especially good. the face products. 
Like, again, like, how do we, how do we make it easier for you? That mm-hmm. was the whole concept around, around fast space, around the system. Like, of course we can keep adding, but like you getting out of the door, it's like, this is, this is solid. Yeah. This is going to make you feel like your best self. We would have been done a long time ago, but I got all these questions for you. That's what Oh, happened. mascara is awful. Do you have the mascara? Yeah, but can I tell you a secret? Go for it. Mascara makes my eyelids itch. Oh. No, okay. no. no matter no matter the brands, no matter the scene. Um, I have been negotiated with often by the makeup people to just look and put it on the ends. But now since I will do lashes sometimes, I will um just put the lashes first. But mascara. Yeah, I have lashes now, so I tend to forget about mascara. Yeah. I Lashes. I mean, they about to fall off now because you know who knows what the next refill is in sight. But <laughs> but this is the mascara, y'all. But listen, man, I have permission to skip this part. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> but this has green tea extract in it. Yeah. And you all, her products are vegan and cruelty free. That's why she's trying to get me not to eat chicken. Listen, so I'm thinking is- about I'm thinking about the dark circle. I know what you're thinking about. I'm the, you <laughs> I know what you're thinking about. It's so <laughs> funny. So we sent a bunch of lip I colors. I know. You see me looking at So I was like, can't you look like snoo? I do. I'm not so we sent you a lot of different new options. And then our red. We are known for our reds. So I'm going to put on a red. I'm going to put on a red too because I didn't cover it. I'm like, oh, that's pretty too though. Look at that, you guys. This looks great. Okay. So I'm gonna put on Boss Lady, which is our best seller in the whole company. All right. Well, I'm gonna put on Boss Lady too because I'm a boss. Or if you look at my latest, I'm a savage, classy, bougie, ratchet. How are you liking to talk? How am I this? Twist it off. Mm. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you're right. I'm trying to break it again. Um, I don't really know, honestly. Uh, Melissa, I got a little help with TikTok. I think they're cute videos, but I only see them on Instagram. TikTok is um. Ooh, that's rich, rich, huh? Yeah, boss. That's that's boss lady. Literally, it's our red. It's literally what we're known for because it looks good on every single complexion. I mean, this is great. I'm so scared to mess this up. Okay, hold on. I gotta look at mm-hmm. it. I kind of messed mine up. You did? Mm-hmm. Now, you got something called the lip bar. You can't ask the lip up. I know, right? Mm-hmm. Hold on. <laughs> With red, you have to be super precise. Like, you cannot ask the red. I know. I'm not good at being precise. And I just do it anyway. So, this one is going to dry matte. And it's going to last all day. Hey. Hey, hey. I love it. I made it too pointy. I love it right here. Man, I mean, you guys, I did my own makeup. Did my own makeup. So wait, your highlighter <laughs> is popping. It's popping here. Let me just, let me just, let me just. Do you see my hot? here? Let me make sure you see my nose. Do you see my nose? <laughs> <laughs> YouTube sensation. Oh my god! I mean, you know, it's, it's me and Melissa. It's our it's our YouTube makeup tutorial page. No, I mean, you know, what can we do? No, this was so fun, and I do. I feel like okay, I can do also like this. I can do date night tonight. You can do date night. Yeah, this was fun, and I love that. Like the on, it might be your lighting too, but the red on you was like this bright, cheery red on me. It's like this deep, you know. It's kind of yeah. fresh. You guys, you have to check out my sister's stuff. Lip Bar is incredible. We got to support each other. Black women are the fasting, fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the country and have been since 2015 and yeah. will be even through COVID-19. Absolutely. And I think that the best way for us to do that is to support each other. So while y'all are in the house, try not to spend money, at least make sure you also support Lip Bar. You guys are still shipping in the midst of the crisis. Yeah, we're shipping. We are up and running. And okay. so, like, we're in Target stores across the country. Yeah! So, obviously, Target, 
targeted and tactic because mm-hmm. people are only shopping for essentials. So we're in this place of like, okay, how do we keep the wheels spinning? Yeah. Because black women are the fastest growing, but also we're the least funded. I know so that's that means right. That yeah. Black women are really making it happen for themselves. Yes. And it always we has. Target without without an investor. It wasn't wow. until after we already had the relationship that we started looking for money just because for a black woman, you have to have so much traction mm-hmm. for people to like to give you money. Like literally, I remember having a purchase order in hand and pitching to people and they're like, oh, you're such an impressive founder, but no, I'm a pass. Wow. So while you all are shopping, make sure that you are leaving room for, for your black owned businesses. Absolutely. We have to, and we can do that. We should do that. We must do that. I'm committed. So you guys have seen me on this list. I got to buy some stuff too. But thank you so, so much, Melissa. This is thank you. so fun and so enlightening. Thank you. I appreciate it. And you look great. Thank you. I mean, I had some help. But yes, it looks good. I feel good too. So um, we will definitely be in touch. We got to do something again. Maybe we could do an eyeshadow to (laughs) derail. Yes. Next time we'll do eyeshadow. Yes, but thank you. This is good. This was fast paced. We can't do eyeshadow. That slows us down. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) If you guys take out all of our questions, I think we probably did a face of about 12 minutes. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Easily. Okay. See, I can do my faces in six minutes. Yeah, six okay. to seven minutes. Yeah, next time we're going to do a little contest, see if we can get it done in six minutes. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Thanks, sis. We appreciate you. <laughs>